I'm here today in beautiful West Marlboro Township, just outside of Unionville, in the Unionville Chadsford School Districts, and I've got a real treat for you. It's an old house, but also a newer house, but the character that this place has is amazing. I can't wait to show it to you. So at the back of this property, you have this gorgeous, huge back porch. Perfect area to sit and look at the Chester County countryside, farm fields on either side. The original portion of the house is this section over here, which was built in 1927. You can see the line here from this point forward starts the addition in the house. So let's go inside. Now if you take a look around, you can see that the molding details, again, all look period style. And it's just, you feel like you're stepping back in time. So we enter into this great room here. Of course, you can see it's filled with all kinds of antiques. Again, the moldings continue all the way around. You have the deep window sills that would be typical of the period as well. The large fireplace. So from the main room, the back into the entry foyer, there's a powder room back here. So now we're gonna enter the old portion of the house. So from right here forward, is a portion of the house that was built in 1927. Off to the one side here, you can see original wood floors that are painted. Well, this room is being used as kind of a, a washroom, um, craft room, things like that. Again, walking forward into the older portion of the house, you have the old dining room space. I mean, this is a large space. Again, you could take space from here if you wanted to create a larger first floor master bedroom, but this is all the original portion of the house. So you have gas-fired, or actually oil-fired, hot air, forced hot air heat. You have an old fireplace here in the original portion of the house. Storage cabinet, and again, if you look at the moldings, the details that are in the moldings, it's, you know, it's with the period. So the kitchen space, again, carrying wainscoting, old-style wainscoting with the, the beaded edge to it. Everything you see in this house is for sale along with the house. So if you're an antique collector, this is heaven for you. So let's take a look upstairs now. So again, you have the original floors, all which are painted. You have a bedroom here. There's another bedroom back here. This is a nice size bedroom comparatively. And there's a huge closet with storage space at the back end over here. This bed is what they call an old rope bed. So if you know the saying, sleep tight, that's where this comes from. You would tighten the ropes to make sure that your mattress doesn't sag. And uh, it's just kind of cool to see something like that in a house that fits with the style and period. So this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house, just because it gives you a sense of, of the people that lived here and the owners. So this was the office uh, space for one of the owners. He was in the Navy, he was on a Navy ship. Uh, and if you look at this, I mean, how cool is this? This is actually a, a binnacle, which was part of the, where the navigation, the compass would be placed for, uh, for a ship. If you look around, there's all kinds of cool antiques and things in here. Um, this room technically does not classify as a bedroom because there's not two means of egress. Um, so it would be able to be used as like an office space or just, you know, an, another area to, to get away. So now into the main bedroom. I mean, you can see the size of this space. It's a, it's a good sized room. Again, you have the wide window sills, fireplace, the bookshelves. There's closet space and then the master bath. So there's no doors on this closet space. It's something you could definitely add if you wanted to or reconfigure this in a, in a different way. Master bath is a decent size. Again, the property does need some work and some upgrading, uh, but it's priced accordingly. So all the stone that you see on the front of this house, again, is local field stone. This is something that the owners that built this addition actually collected themselves. So that creates this, this character and this feel that this home has been here since the turn of the century. Um, so there's a lot of details to this property that are, that are super cool. Just look at all the privacy you have here. You're surrounded on three sides of the property by farm fields. Out front you have a gravel road and there's not much traffic coming down that road. 